Okay, this is part three. Uh, this is the connecting points uh, for the axle and the engine. The engine here, um, it's a fairly simple connecting point. This rail right here that you see is a actual uh, part of the static uh, for the vehicle itself, for the MRAP. Um, I didn't want to modify this. I don't want to upgrade it to an aluminum or anything like that. It's thick plastic. It serves its purpose. There's no real need to upgrade it and try to make one out of aluminum or a different metal. Um, they serve their purpose. Uh, as far as tensile strength is concerned, I drilled through it and I made, made connecting points, no big deal. So uh, the engine, it, it was fairly close as far as being able to slide it in there and make drill holes and then put connecting points. Now uh, the connecting points for it is above and below. The below one actually didn't even catch on. I didn't have enough space to work it where I could catch on to the plastic. So there's only one drill bit and then one notch for the second uh, for the second screw. Um, and then I just made that notch, that way it wouldn't wiggle left and right, and it could still maintain its, its uh, stability. Um, from that point on, it was just about working the axle length to reach the, um, the axle. Uh, I should say the drive shaft length in order to reach the axle. Uh, the drive shaft, both drive shafts for the original vehicle, are this. This is the original one. Um, and these, the way I modified them is by dremeling and cutting cutting it in half. Once I dremeled it and cut it in half, it was about figuring out the distance between um, this point to that point. Uh, it was trial and error. I wish I could tell you that it was more than uh, trial and error. There was a calculation or whatnot, but it really, it was one of those things. What I did use was to extend it is the tubing on an antenna. Uh, the tubing on an antenna uh, as you can see, of course, and you know, it's telescopic. And so one of these, I, I got one of these uh, tubes. I measured it as best as I can, cut it, and then put my both ends of the um, cut axle on, on each side and then glued it. Uh, the glue, uh, what I use is a regular hobby grade glue. glue. Um, it's pretty strong, but my first try, uh, once I did do the modification on the axles, uh, I'm sorry, on the drive shaft, um, after probably about six uses, probably I would say about three hours worth, the the connection points actually broke. So it's just because of the torque and whatnot. I mean, I, I, I took this vehicle out there to the desert and put it through its its tests and full speed on a, on a brushless is pretty fast. Um, I took it rock climbing um, and I took it on jumps. It's fast enough to take jumps. It rolled over. I'm not. I'm not too nice with them. I mean, I'm gonna build them and play with them. And if they can't take a beating, then I did a poor job. Um, but this one's taking a beating. Um, as you can see, all the scratches. Uh, but the axle did take. It, it it took a good beating as well. I mean, with the torque and the speed, and so it did come apart. What I started using. Well, actually, this is a fix right now that I did. I use Johnny Weld. Johnny Weld is an aggregate for um, any kind of uh, super glue. You just put on the super glue, you put on the aggregate, Johnny Weld, and it's basically like cement and concrete. Um, the concrete strengthens the cement. Um, and But the only thing with Johnny Weld is that it really speeds up the drying time of that glue. So you gotta work with it like super fast. Or put it on and then put the Johnny Weld on. So that's the... Uh, that's a tutorial on the drive shaft and the connecting point for the engine. Um, on the next one, I'll talk about the connecting points of the axles.